Guys, Shoop got buffed and so did Rodea. We are playing them in Nilfgaard. Why? Well, because you can use a Seer to put Shoop back into your deck and play him twice. That's pretty damn fun. So let's have a go at our double Shoop masterclass. The game plan is I'm going to start doing earlier streams as well. Which I was supposed to start to actually go out of the shower, put my OBS on and then fell asleep. Starting from tomorrow, I'm gonna get on it. I mean, I've been away like most of the week, right? I just haven't actually been here a lot of the time. Like, I, I was not here from Friday till Monday. And then yesterday, I did do a stream in the morning, but something came up which made me end the stream. <laughs> which was, I'm. Not exact. I wasn't exactly thrilled about, but it just kind of is what is what it is. It's a pretty bad time to draw this. <gasps> we got the shoot though. Hey, Guys, I don't really know what sh oh, it shows. Okay, we can go for shoot mage or the yeah yeah shoot mage easy. No, no. All right, that'll do. I was hoping for the C's, but... So the way Shoop works as well, Shoop is actually already back. Uh, he's already in the graveyard, right? So we can Asir already. I suppose we do go for the Norsica still. This also isn't a bad turncoat, right, at all. It's a pretty okay card. I'm not exactly sure there's going to be that much better. I'm just going to go for the turncoat. And then we'll just go for the Asir. This is a pretty good value card, right? I should also definitely be playing the 4P lock, right? We need to... Sort the deck out a little bit. The 4P lock should without doubt be in this deck. <laughs> the leader as well. Seems a little bit unnecessary, I'd say. So, yeah, if we back row the Asir, Sheep can go back. I'll play him again later. We have got Menno on the Roche as well, if we want to. I think we might have lost this round, despite, despite playing Shoop and Invo. Altes is just like a big, a big drummer, right? He's not that bad. Definitely want to keep the squirrel. Kind of difficult justifying deciding what to kick here, but I think this is probably just about correct. Hey JHT, I'm doing well, thank you, mate. Yeah, I'm doing all right, mate. Thanks. Okay, slight error in my uh, placements of the, of the Nausicaa here, I'd say. That's a little bit of a nightmare, isn't it? I right, switch lock. Let's just call our own one in, right? Can remedy the commander and fault it. That's a very good point, yeah. That is definitely a good point, mate. Thank you for that. <sighs> yeah, 
yeah, I guess we just try and save the leader charge and go for the Redea. I wanted to set up the engine, right? I could also just... Hmm... It's not like they're gonna pass yet either, is it? And I'm gonna I still wanna play Squirrel on their assault. And I also wanna play Dead Man's Tongue. They're not gonna pass yet, so we may as well just take the locks as early as possible. So that's when they play for the most points. Now it's more about just staying ahead, isn't it? This is also carryover on our Terra Nova, right? As we're, we've got Terra Nova into Roche. So if we could even just fall test and not click, it would actually be carryover for us. So fall test is a seven here, right? It's enough. Let's go, Jack. All right, all right. Definitely a shame we didn't manage to dead man's tongue. But we stole one commando. We set so oh, there's the shoot, boy. So we've been the. I mean, squirrel's still an eight point card. Actually, it's really not bad at all. And we didn't find finding the major assassin there would have felt really bad. This looks good. This looks good, guys. So I suppose we do just open with the squirrel before they Pavetta. I don't think we're ever getting the death blow right, so it might just be best to go for the Terra Nova now. I guess I could go for the four damage on shoot. To set it up. Which one is that? A warrior? A superb specimen, truly. Yeah. Shoot knight. I reckon I've played Shoop less than any other Gwent streamer. A superb specimen. True. Yo, thanks for follows, guys. What's up? Transform rightmost after I might not have been the worst idea. I think this is good. We just play out 12 for however many provision Shoop is now 12. Not, not very good. It's basically where Shoop's at. So we could coup this. I think we're most interested in just not just stalling so highest provision bronzes do that this just improves the odds on our courier hitting the mage assassin and also just improves the odds of our roach not like our commando in fact right No real reasons to go for the Terra Nova just yet. I live to serve you. Okay, we're starting the four points from the Mage Assassin. I guess we just go for it now. 
Just in case Priabri gives us something like a Roche as well, right? Like, they might be able to duel us here. And we might have been able to... Oh, they, it's only on Sace. I think we're just fine, right? Let's go, baby. Hello, son. Another one. Another one. This guy got dominated, mate. Let's go, baby. The double shoot popped off, mate. I need some more thinning. Not really sure how, how else we can get any though, right? I mean... Just yeah, guys. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Although, it's not exactly conclusive. It's just a lateral flow one, so... My friend, um, who thinks he's feeling a bit poorly, his lateral flow was also negative, but he's he's taken a PCR test, which is which is like one done in the lab, which is going to get back later. But he had it less than 90 days ago, so hopefully he just tests it's negative, mate. Because otherwise he might not even have it, but it might just still... I don't know exactly how it works. But he does have symptoms, so he's got to take one at the end of the day, innit? I think this can go against this leader. also pretty bad here because of caress who knows him on the website it says you shouldn't take one within 90 days unless you develop symptoms again so he's also double vaxxed i'm sure he's fine but he does feel a bit poorly i feel fine i feel absolutely fine We can actually go Menno for any just here, but missing out on Q sounds bad. Let's just high roll. Agreed. I could also informant play back row. Nice, <gasps> That's actually pretty good. Death awaits us all. I actually don't know where my next my next job is, to be completely honest. Yeah, exactly right. So hopefully it's all good. Hopefully everything is sweet. The Empire will be victorious. Spit it out already. So obviously because we're playing a seer, we do actually want to just slam the shoot still. But we'd rather just win round one quickly, and then like in round two play shoot plus a seer. I guess we could also go for the carry over shoot. Get on it, Jack. Get the jab, mate. Gotta go for it, man. Yeah, I don't actually know where my second one is. Pretty soon, I think. Call into Forest Protector. Alright, well, at least this just means I don't feel bad about slamming Shoop anymore. What do we go for on Shoop, though, guys? Hmm. I guess we go for the Knight again. We don't want to make this spying or anything. We can't play this. We could also just... 
play the tortoise first, isn't it? See what they do. It's obviously it's not very good because I only have one of every special. It's just that much shoot, mate. Believe in the resilience. Losing on even isn't a big deal when you have carryover or resilience on the board. So I can't just try a pass for card advantage. So like the rule of like the passing on five rule that I, I, I've mentioned before is kind of not relevant. Right? Cam, this is pretty good for us. Right? Committed a lot here. If they play Ayla in their one elf away, I doubt they play Ayla in though. I think I'm just gonna be a bit cheeky here. And... Do this. This is where I'm not really maximized. This is a bad play for me. I shouldn't have done it. Truth be told. But it's fine. That was definitely a misplay for me, but they didn't punish us. So if they carry over on the board, the invo on Gord is out of the question now after losing on even. If we can Yoak him into this is here. That's what we're gonna be looking to do. We don't want to use a leader charge. It's just round three points. Find the Asira in it. That is horrible. That is such a stinker. It's the worst card to hit by a mile. By an absolute country mile. I guess I can invo the Yoakim here. It's not the worst idea. Kind of running out of other options. Obviously, I've got Ku on uh, on an emissary. Seems a little bit on the dicey side.
No mercy! Come to me, little one. I guess we're just going for the Terran over here. I think this was the right call. The will flow with the blood of Enche, the blood of elves. I have no interest in using a leader charge here. I'd rather just use the Terra Nova. Yeah, this Brathom's hit such a stink, man. The emissary is just a slightly better option because it's more tempo here, right? Plays for less points, but we're just trying to preserve the Rodeo by going for the emissary. Like, we've always got enough points to win the round. So the emissary just playing for two more points here might just be the difference. Hopefully. Could just be Gord in hand, right? But we now have Joachim. Uh, unfortunately, unless we like find Furcat, we're just not going to get access to uh, second shoot. I guess we're keeping the hand because I have a special. I guess I could Redea for Curse Scroll as well, right? If we do, in fact, hit the Seer. Proactive Yoke, and we might be okay here. It's not great. It's better than Squirrel, right? It's the same as this. This is the best, these two. Tis my Alright, we're 12 to the good. Sack of shoot? Why? I don't get it. Nah, we can't go scroll, right? We'd have to have another card in hand. Let's wait for Bali. Oi, oi, Savaloi. Then that's a double you mate. Look at that. Unless they have a 24 point gourd. No hand buffs. Alright, nice. 
Very, very nice. I mean, to be honest, guys, the main reason is I changed my stream schedule a lot this year to try and, like, squeeze in between Spiro and uh, Shin. But that spot's actually way more competitive than it used to be because, like, Bush is around. Um, but moreover, like, I actually just operate a lot better when I'm waking up early, right? I just, I'm much more productive. And just, I always like starting my day off by streaming. Like, as opposed to whatever else, right? Yes, this can go. Kind of a weird situation, this hand. I have nothing I want to put back. I want to take a mulligan, but I don't know on what. So yeah, the game plan is early morning before Spiro, basically. So Trinet's not playing at the moment. Which just kind of makes sense to go for that spot. Especially because viewership on Twitch is not at, at an all-time peak, correct? But I think overall for me, it'll just be better. And then I can just like, I, if I'm enjoying Gwent, I can just play Gwent for ages. And then if I'm not, I'll just switch. Let's play something different because I'm definitely going to start playing a lot more variety. Especially when New Worlds out. I'm going to be banging New World. I think the beta for New Worlds out soon. So I'm thinking about playing the beta again and just recording some beginner content. To just then release when the actual game comes out. And that's my game plan. But I've also got like a lot of YouTube videos I want to work on. Like I'm bloody got the Witcher Netflix thing that I was supposed to do. And I just never got around to doing it. And I was like... If I was to have switched my schedule around and actually streamed early mornings, would I have, like, already done this by now? And I was thinking, probably. Like, I probably would have. But I'm just very bad. If I if I start my stream at 1 p.m., it kind of eliminates the rest of the day, right? In terms of product. Like, I was so unproductive the last few months. So I'm just getting back on the early morning streams, man. My productivity. For sake of my productivity. We'll lock this and go for the Master of Disguise. We could also Terra Nova and then a Seer it back. Kind of like it. Save leader charging it. Yeah, I hit Master on, or Legend, whatever the top rank is on Storybook Brawl, and I've actually like barely played it since. I'd definitely like to still get good at that game. I think the key to getting a bigger audience on that game is getting good. It's not very much of a uh, YouTube audience still. It is a hot day, yeah. It's been lovely, really. Last for a while. What about your productivity? Soz. Soz, not Soz. Uh, I'll share the deck after this game. But yeah, basically where I'm at with Gwen is I really want to start branching out and doing other stuff. But I also want to keep my YouTube going. Uh, and I still want to stream Gwen every day. So, kind of like... But I also want to work on YouTube videos, right? So I'm going to be streaming other stuff. More variety stuff for sure. But I'm also going to continue Gwen. And like obviously when like a, a new patch is out, etc. New expansion or whatever, I'll be I'll be playing more, but right now I'm not like Oh let's go. Let's go. I think it's just a good thing man. Like I've played Gwen every day for the last year, right? So just start branching out man. I've got to the point where, like, the growth I'm getting on Gwen isn't as, you know, smooth and rewarding necessarily as it was before. You get me? I'm kind of, I'm reaching the ceiling. Like, I feel like I could work really hard on a Gwen video and it wouldn't really do any better than just, like, a, a normal video. 
Yeah, the Brazil Argentina thing is pretty hilarious, I must confess. So we can we can go fur cat into shoot, which is pretty nice. Oh, let's go. What a hand. We go fur cat into shoot and then a sear it back. This is like a 2 0 kind of hand, isn't it? Let's just start off with uh Shoopy Boy. Do we go for the warrior one for the carryover? The knight, but then also go for the boost if not. I mean, the thing is, in my my success is directly tied to the to the game, innit? And the game's been doing well on Twitch, but it's not like about to explode anytime soon. And like, I have to start looking at it as more of a business. Uh, and I'm kind of at that point where like I'm don't get me wrong, I'll still be playing Gwent in a year's time. But um, I also have to accept that if I want to, you know, keep this being. What I do full time, like Gwen isn't isn't gonna be like it forever. Right? I need to if I I have bigger dreams, right? Of like actually having like a super successful channel and stuff, right? Which like it's been great. Gwen's been great. I love it so much, and it would be e it, it's the easier thing to just continue playing it, right? Unexpected identifier. <laughs> Hi Gwen, that's what's up. Yeah, early morning streams is basically the plan. The product productivity sake, among other things. So I, I think we're actually gonna put Terra Nova back in instead. In a Terra Nova into Vincent seems better than a Shoop. We could also hit off Joachim. No, I don't want to work as a teacher. I don't want a 9-to-5 job. I want to be my own boss, basically, right? Like, 100%. This is what I always dreamed of doing my whole life. Ever since I was, like, 12 years old. And again, I love teaching. Like, but I don't want to be... It's just so much, like, stress, man. I just have no time. A teacher's not particularly. I made more money as a teacher than I do streaming, but like, I could obviously, if I was to have a, a mega set successful channel, I could have more success being a, a streamer. Right? I could make a lot more money being a streamer if everything to go really well. Like, why not, man? I've, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it, right? Like, this is my time to go for it. Like, and I've got teaching to fall back on. It's not going anywhere. What do you imagine a mega successful channel? Uh, millions and millions and millions of views, mate. Basically. I'm pretty ambitious. Well, I've just got to go for it, man. Sod it. Why not? I want to be able to flip in, buy my dad a house, right? That's kind of what I want to be able to do. That kind of vibe. That would be pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Mate, this is very scuffed. <laughs> it's a great effort though, Noah, man. This is a bit unfortunate that we seem to be down a card. It's a tortoise. Whatever. Yeah, obviously I stopped teaching last year, uh, December. So like a big part of my hopes for this year were to do lots of Gwent casting, right? Is that's like a a goal that I set a long time ago? So just pass and along. Obviously, hasn't exactly gone as well as I was hoping. I've done what? How many events have there been this year? Four. I've done one. Still something though, isn't it? And there's two events left still, so.
Oh, I missed tearing over broth and sitting bow. Can I live off stream at the moment? Uh. Yeah. But also, I've kind of, I'm kind of making as much money from it as I can, kind of. That's not quite true. I could make more, but for a lot of effort, an incredible amount of time and effort, the monetary gain isn't actually that much, right? I'm way better off investing my time into other things, basically, at this point. But because it's also important to remember, I was not around for a long time, right? So people like Spyro, Shin, for example, like, are just like so far ahead of me in terms of like hours streamed and stuff. And it's very difficult, right, to... Yeah, sponsors is definitely something I need to try and get to improve my income. Um, commentating is another thing for CDPR, like that is part of income. Uh, I've got my YouTube channel, which my YouTube makes more money than my Twitch does. Right, and I'm gonna try and continue uploading daily, but I've got big plans. Like football related stuff is like the end term goal, but I'm not quite ready to go for that. For more followers, just play Fortnite. I don't think that's how it works, mate. But this is the thing, right? When I've been streaming the whole time, it's not been about money. It's been about... Like, this is just like what I want to do, isn't it? But I'm moving out soon. I've got savings. I saved up a lot last year. Like, at least a lot for me. I guess this is less points than just banishing turnover. Just a lot less points, actually. So, anyway. so yeah, basically I'm just at that point where I just need to start taking more risks, right? Hop to it, knaves. I've got big ideas, man. Oh, oops. Imagine we lose by two points. Oh no. Oh, GG. I mean, we missed Brathens, we missed the Terranova we put back, and then we also missed Invo. Like, no surprise. 